How do you do? I'm the reindeer man of Groundhog Day, and I'm here to look for my shadow. Do you see my shadow? Ah, there it is. Hey, I found my shadow. That's great. That means you got six more weeks. Oh, that means you kids all got. I found my shadow. That means you kids all have. That means you kids all have six more weeks of winter to learn to respect your parents. In that play, I saw back in Hall Elementary School when I was in third grade, that boy who got grounded for playing Viggins, he was, for him, it was just, he, he was living the same Monday three times until he learned to respect his dad, and then it was Tuesday. But yeah, you know, I saw a really fun Curious George episode about this sort of thing called Whistle Pig Wednesday. You know, it's a, which reminds me, the last day of Star from Face and Ferb and the Nickelodeon movie starring Ganson Pantier. That's a, that's a Whistle Pig Wednesday loop. That's really Whistle Pig Wednesday loop instead of Groundhog Day loop. But yeah, Whistle Pig Wednesday, Curious Man with the Yellow Hat told Curious George about how Whistle Pig Wednesday is on Groundhog Day, but with the Whistle Pig season shouting, summer is over. Curious George was curious to find out if shadows can predict the weather, but then, then he saw Whistle Pig, and I guess there's a mix with Whistle Pig that, you know, where Mr. Glass needed to do, do over with the Whistle Pig Thursday. And then at the end, Mr. Glass will curious George that, uh, you know, groundhogs and whistle pigs don't really have the power to predict the weather like that. It's just a fun thing people do. You know, it's kind of like that Martha Speaks episode about superstitions. Martha changes her luck. Luck, you know. Helen teaches Martha that there's no such thing as curses, and when the ice cream truck appears when she snaps her fingers, it's just a coincidence. It's when one thing happens, it's when two things happen, and you think one thing made the other thing happen, but it didn't.